Hello and welcome to Prudent Media News. Now a look at the headlines. Election Commission and representatives of Goan political parties meeting in Delhi on Monday. Political parties demand rights in election candidate expenditure limit. Meet likely to discuss poll schedule. Government Swarna Jayanti Bhima Yojana hits roadblock. Private nursing homes say scheme not feasible, rates should be revised. Association ready for talks. Government coalition partners MGP and NCP have come out against illegal mining. Both back legal mining. MGP blames government for illegal mining. NCP demands cap on ore export. And Churchill Brothers team gets warm welcome at Double E Airport. Champions return with Durand Cup. Team spirit high with huge support from fans. And now the news in detail. Major political parties in Goa have voiced election commission should raise the poll expenditure limit for candidates. Representatives of the political parties will place this demand during the meeting with the Central Election Commission on Monday in Delhi. Congress and BJP feels that the expenditure limit should be raised from 8 lakhs to at least 15 lakh rupees. Sources say on Monday, election authorities might inform parties about the probable election schedule in the five states along with Goa. Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Uttarakhand, Manipur and Goa will go to polls next year. All these five states might face elections together and most probably in February or March. Election Commission has started its process. Central Election Commission will meet the representatives of political parties from all these five states on Monday. As per the sources from State Electoral Office, this meet will brief and impart training to the representatives on election rules, poll process, code of conduct, expenditure and other important poll directives. As per the sources, two representatives from Congress, two from BJP, Three from MGP and NCP each and two from Save Goa Party will attend this meet in Delhi. Congress and BJP will stress on raising election expenditure limit for a candidate. Uh, All the political parties are almost certain that the election would be held in February. The talks for coalition and alliance have begun informally. MGP and NCP have already appointed their committees to look into the alliance issues. Congress and BJP have already held party-level major meetings. The first lot of candidates might be declared at any point of time. Also, probable election schedule might be informed to all political parties during the meet on Monday in Delhi. A senior reporter from Panji, Rakesh Kanurkar. Private nursing homes have rejected the government's Swarna Jayanti Bhima Yojana with current rate structure. Association of Nursing Home claims that the rates fixed by the government are not feasible and will not participate unless they are revised. A unanimous resolution was passed in the association's annual general body meeting on Sunday. Added to this disapproval from the state, IMA has mounted pressure on the government to review the scheme. The fate of government's recently launched Suvarna Jayanti Bhima Yojana looks bleak. Right now, the scheme has hit the roadblocks. There is a dispute between the private nursing homes and government over the rates and feasibility of the scheme. Nursing homes have welcomed the scheme but will not participate unless the rates are revised. We welcome the initiative from the government of Goa, providing of services at the prices 
quoted in the agreement which the Goa government has signed with ICICI Lombard would jeopardize the patient's health care in private sector. As such, it is not possible for us to give quality health care using all the standard quality material. Association says none of the private nursing homes have participated in this scheme. They say let the government introduce this scheme. Private nursing homes will continue to charge their patients with their regular charges. Let the government compensate the patients under this insurance scheme. Our demand is we will charge as what we are charging at present. Our billing structure will not change. Association is ready for talks with the government. So we are still ready for discussions, but as of today, we are not with the scheme. Uh, it can be worked out only by discussions. A reporter from Panji Lokik Shilkar with video journalist Ravindra Darvi. Both the coalition partners in the government, MGP and NCP, have come out and open against the illegal mining. Party executive committees unanimously resolved against illegal mining in the state. MGP has blamed the government for growing illegal mining for the past six years, whereas NCP has demanded a cap of three and a half to four crore tons annually on the iron export. However, both the parties have strongly backed illegal mining. Meetings of State Executive Committee of MGP and Central Committee of NCP were held on Saturday in Panji. Illegal mining in the state topped the agenda. MGP has blamed the state government. Illegal asset don't do. Mining is illegal don't do. Kuba sa. Sarkaran jaise control karo zai ni. It's a failure of the government. How is it that the illegal mining is a failure of the government? And we have to note that 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 we NCP says the party opposes illegal mining in the state. We have to note that 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 we have NCP has also demanded that ore export should be restricted to three and a half to four crores of tons annually. At present, Goa export around five crore tons of iron ore. NCP will strongly support less than 10 kilometers buffer zone for mining leases. Export of ores are said to be cut to 35 to 40 million. 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 Uh, million. Limit so we are concerned about Goa. Our senior reporter from Panji Rakesh Kanurkar, Lokik Shilkar with video journalist Sushant Par. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned. <laughs>